Whether it's for a creative endeavor or an entrepreneurial pursuit, rejection is tough. If it's your best and you really believe strongly that this has an audience, then you should move forward. My story is proof of that. Jane Allen didn't let bad news keep her down when she presented the manuscript for her book, Black Girls Must Die Exhausted, to some literary agents. I thought it was really important to center a black female protagonist and show a story that wasn't particularly about race, but showed what this story looked like from this person's perspective. The book chronicles a 33-year-old woman's struggle with reproductive health, but she felt the feedback she got was strange. It was not necessarily about the writing quality. It was that they found my protagonist to be unlikable and not relatable. Even though it was discouraging, she controlled her reaction to the rejection. The great thing was that I had trusted readers who had given me feedback before that they find her relatable. <laughs> she knew there was a market for her story. Using her background in marketing and branding, Jane decided to self-publish. I had to go into debt to make sure that it was packaged properly. So that was a, a big sacrifice, but also it was really scary. But it paid off. The book attracted over 60 book clubs across five continents and got over 1,000 reviews. She embraced the compliments. After the reviews started to build, she was able to connect with readers through these books. So many people from all different backgrounds, different countries, finding a connection to this person. She was proving that her initial critics were wrong about her unrelatable main character. So she continued to use that protagonist's voice to connect with readers, which led to her getting signed with an agent. And a few weeks later, we wound up landing with HarperCollins for a four book deal, which is amazing for the entire series. And her first book was not only selected as a Target Club pick, it also received positive press in the New York Times and Good Morning America. The second book in her series, Black Girls Must Be Magic, is out now. When you get the rejection, it's it's easy to believe that that's the truth of things, but it's not. And so it's worth taking the journey. Rejecting rejection and reaping the rewards.